transparency. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uncheck pre-multiply alpha. I think that fixes it. Uh, where it is the cube? Let's see how that looks. Does that look good? Can't see nothing. Yep, that should look good. There we go. And basically now, all we have to do is... Um, uh, da, 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 basically, hopefully I applied the right material, which is supposed to be both materials. So basically this one, yeah, good. So, now we're gonna play around with the gizmo to create a good image again using local like that and I'm gonna use turbo smooth to see how it's gonna look okay that should look That should look about right, I think. It's going to have some kind of issues here, but what we can do is basically, if we go to the model, right before the turbo smooth, we're going to add, it, add an edit poly. And I'm gonna disable the turbo smooth for a second, and we're gonna add new loops. Uh, one here, one here, and there. So that basically prevents stretching. Oh yes, I think we can still edit it. Yeah, to make the logo bigger. There we go. Now it's gonna repeat itself here, so what we can do to fix that is go into the material slot for the diffuse channel there. And we're gonna uncheck tiling. It's not gonna show in the viewport, but it's definitely gonna work. So, there we go. Our glass is complete. Woohoo! Pretty awesome, isn't it? So how do we make how do we make the glass have some water in it or some whiskey? That's a nice question, isn't it? So uh, basically, to for for it for uh, for me to have the for me to be able to work easier, I'm gonna just apply regular regular material here. I'm gonna click Control V to make a copy of the whiskey glass, and we're gonna call one glass, and we're gonna select the other one, and we're gonna say it's whiskey. There we go. And basically, what we want to do is we're gonna disable most of this stuff. most of it has to go <laughs> um, I think we can keep the added poly yes these we're gonna delete we can keep this basically I'm gonna use alt Q to isolate the selection it doesn't allow me to do that. There we go. It doesn't work for some reason in the edit tab. So what I'm gonna do here is basically I'm gonna take the middle polygon there. I'm gonna grow, 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 up to here. I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna pick this um, 
selection here, the, the uh, border, I'm gonna say cap and of course I'm gonna say probably camphor a little bit just a teeny bit there we go and again should all be fine and we're gonna add extra loops here and we're gonna add an extra inset or two here so I can use turbo smooth again there we go so that's gonna be our liquid course we can edit that a little bit further because we're not gonna be needing all of this so we can just hit delete and select the border again and cap it and again select all the polygons and we're gonna clear everything and auto smooth so that's gonna be our liquid for now we can exit the isolation mode and now the key to having a good liquid is actually gonna be to have the liquid go through the glass which I know probably sounds bizarre for some reason but it's just the way the renderer works it's the same with V-Ray and the same with Mental Ray and the same with everything else. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna basically have it go a little bit into the glass. And we're gonna use the selection here to lower this into where we need it to be. So that's basically gonna be our liquid so we can apply the glass material and we can create a material for our whiskey which is basically again gonna be an arc in design we're gonna select a glass solid geometry preset for the transparency we're gonna go with a brownish color kinda brownish orangish that's a good color we can enable the background to see how it will look it's gonna be quite like this the reflectivity we can make kind of yellowish as well and there we go and basically uh, then we can use the presets here for alcohol being 1.36 uh, index of refraction that's alcohol and um, I believe that's that's what I did so we have these now you would want to create the ice cubes and the ice cubes were very simple to create uh, basically what you need is go to the box creation tab select cube and create little cubes probably like this and we're gonna say the segments to be about 20 by 20 by 20 it's gonna be pretty small but and to make that realistic looking um, ice cube uh, I'm actually gonna look, work with 15 by 15 by 15 what I did was I enabled turbo smooth and then enabled noise turned on fractal and then basically kind of distorted the ice cube a little bit but you gotta turn the scale down quite a lot and probably just make it a little less screwy there we go so and if that doesn't look like proper ice you can always tweak the settings here if 
can play around with the seed that helps so that's about it for the ice and for the ice uh, I used again arc in design and I started off with a frosted glass preset and in the advanced rendering options instead of having uh, this turn blue I actually made it turn white it takes a while to render the preview but it's something and let's just lower the max distance for a second like so and I think we can apply that to that and after that's done all you need to do basically is just position your ice cubes in the drink and make an instance and basically like that position them somewhere have one rotated randomly have the other one rotated randomly so it's you know something and just play around with these until you get what you desire probably gonna have to rotate them around see that they don't intersect with each other 